grocery haul, y'all. I apologize for the lighting. It's gotten a little bit cloudy here this afternoon, and I'm just going with the natural light that comes into my kitchen. Beautiful day, though. It's like almost 80 degrees out there. So these are all of the groceries from that detailed grocery list that we put together in the last video. These groceries are what we needed in order to make these recipes from my thousand vegan recipes cookbook. Okay, here is a bit of a close up of the grocery haul. You can see some of the refrigerated items in the front here. My frozen fairies, English muffins, the nut butter, the nuts, pantry items, broth, beans, soy milk, pasta, etc. Over here, big bags of rice, onions, some fruit for the week and longer greens, fresh produce. Just wanted to give you a bit of a close-up. And while I'm doing the close-up, look at this handsome man. This is our puppy, Riley. He is a Boxer Lab mutt. He's going to be nine this summer. We've had him since he was about one. We call him Mr. Gray Face now. Oh, he's going gray. That's our Riley. He's still full of love, energy, unconditional love. That's what dogs do, right, Riley? And this is our kitten, Basil. Hi, Baz. We adopted him when he was about three. He's going to be six next month. Oh, that was nice. Hi, Bears. Oh, sweet kitten. That's our pack. Riley and Bears. So, again, the recipes we chose were a brown rice salad with black eyed peas, sloppy burger sandwiches, a version of sloppy joes, a mulligatawny soup, carbonara style spaghetti, brown rice with artichoke, chickpeas, and tomatoes a green bean and mushroom stroganoff, maple walnut oatmeal cookies, and then also within those recipes I'm going to be making a homemade vegan parmesan and some homemade cashew sour cream in order to make those above, above recipes. And also got some staples and some things for breakfast, uh, packing breakfast for my husband and making green smoothies for myself here also going to make some overnight oats. So this is everything that we needed and I'm going to quickly go through this for you. I did just end up going to Kroger and this grocery haul was $200. Now that being said, I got a big bag of dog food, I got a big bag of cat food, a big case of toilet paper and some paper towels and some refill on hand soap, you know, all those household things. You don't see here, if I took that off the bill, I'd be more than $150, $160 range. And this will last us probably a week and a half. And that's about how much money we spend on groceries. Unfortunately, if we go to Whole Foods, you could double that. You could almost double that. It definitely would have been closer to $300 if we had bought these types of things at Whole Foods. Probably more than that. That's why I try to get to my local Kroger more often. Okay, so what did we get? So back here by me, which I'm going to lift up, I got a huge five pound bag of clementines. We both like clementines for a little breakfast fruit. We got some organic bananas. I apologize for the dog chasing the cat. <laughs> I'll introduce you to the pets in this video. Some organic bananas. Some onions. I get organic as much as I can for Kro from Kroger, but they don't always have everything in organic, or sometimes the organic looks a little rattier than the conventional, but I get organic whenever I can. So, two red onions, 
two yellow onions, a green pepper, a red bell pepper, two serrano chili peppers, the serrano chilies go into that mulligatawny soup, one package of organic grape tomatoes, two Granny Smith apples, one of these I think actually gets chopped up and goes into the mulligatawny soup, and then I just got another one because the organic Granny Smiths were looking pretty tasty, so I got another one. Then this under here is a big tub of uh, organic spinach, and the big tub of baby spinach, and this huge, this is one bunch, this huge bunch of organic kale. Both of these I will put in my smoothie, so hopefully get all that kale, all that spinach into my body this week. It makes me feel so good. We have one bunch of cilantro, one bunch of Italian flat leaf parsley. We have over a pound, probably ended up being more like a pound and a half, of fresh green beans. We're making that uh, green bean mushroom stroganoff. And we have a big container. This is a two pound, no, one pound, 16 ounce container of organic Baby Bella mushrooms. This is um, Light Life brand Smart Bacon, Veggie Bacon, Vegan Bacon. That's going to go into the spaghetti carbonara. And this is some um, brie for my husband, who's vegetarian, not vegan. So some, he needs a little bit more cheese to go on his toast. We have three shallots and two uh, bulbs of garlic, some silk almond milk based coffee creamer. I do like having coffee with some vegan creamer. This is a caramel flavor, which I'm going to give a try. Looks pretty good. Two containers of silken tofu, three bags of frozen berries for my green smoothies. We have a triple berry blend, a cherry berry blend and some wild blueberries. These even frozen berries are so expensive these days, so I'm trying to get the ones that are on sale. But these are one pound bags. They're not organic, they're conventional. And these were like $4.50 each. And I use a half a bag per smoothie. So I'm telling you, groceries these days I have discovered this traveling to the UK a lot for going to visit my husband's family and Europe, sometimes we go to Europe too. Groceries in the United States are more expensive than Europe. Definitely more expensive than the UK. I mean, this is basic chain grocery store, Kroger, and just, you know, a few household items and we're spending $200. We're a family of two. Anyway, that's a side topic, but groceries are pretty expensive in the United States, so please tell me down below how much you spend um, in whatever country that you live, how much you spend per week on groceries, how big your family is, and maybe we can compare, but groceries in the United States are pretty expensive. And I got two containers of the Ezekiel English muffins. My husband takes one of these in his... Um, feed bag and has a toasted English muffin for breakfast every day at work. Now over here in the, well, what would you call it, pantry area, we have, I did get a huge bag of basmati rice. This is white basmati rice. I go back and forth. We sometimes have brown rice, sometimes white rice. They're both very good for you. Uh, the Mulligatani soup calls for basmati rice, and I know this particular rice is so good in that soup. And it happened to be on sale, the five pound bag, for almost $10, so about $2 a pound for basmati rice. I got some organic Kroger brand brown rice. Uh, a couple of the salads, at least one of the salads calls for brown rice. A big can of fire roasted organic crushed tomatoes. Two cans of organic garbanzo beans, Kroger brand. They always have their
Kroger brand organic beans going for 10 for $10, which I think is pretty good for canned beans. So I've gotten lazy about making my own beans in the pressure cooker, which is super easy to do. And I used to all the time buy dry beans and then make them in the pressure cooker. That's I have the black eyed peas that I made that way last week, but uh, I've been getting lazy and buying the 10 for $10 canned beans. Can of artichoke hearts for the one recipe. A can of regular coconut milk. This uh, Thai kitchen brand I think is the creamiest, most lovely coconut milk. So I got a can of that one. Two of the 32 ounce quart size containers of soy milk. I get West Soy Organic Unsweetened Plain. The only ingredients are filtered water and whole organic soybeans. So I try to keep food additives and chemicals and everything out of our diet as much as I can. I mean, I'm not a total stickler about it. This uh, veggie bacon, I'm sure, is full of odd ingredients, but whenever I can, I try to get just pure ingredients. I had to buy two uh, quart containers of organic veggie broth. I get this Pacific Organic brand. Again, because it's all clean ingredients all real vegetable and spice ingredients and water. A lot of times I make my own homemade veggie broth. When you see me cook, I'll give some tips like that, but I save all my scraps in a bag in the freezer and make veggie broth in my pressure cooker. But we've been making lots of soups lately and I've been going through the homemade broth pretty quickly. So I actually didn't have very much on hand. I only had like two cups of broth and not enough scraps to make a new batch. So I had to buy broth this week. We have a pound of Kroger organic spaghetti. This is just uh, white pasta, but it is organic and that looked good to me this week for the spaghetti carbonara recipe. And the last few items we have over here is some chopped pecans, chopped walnuts, Raw cashews, I'm going to make a raw cashew based sour cream for the, I believe that was for the carbonara. And then I get the fresh ground peanut butter from Kroger. They have one of those big machines that's just full of nuts and you grind your peanut butter right there. Their price on the fresh ground peanut butter is just great. This huge, this big tub, this was just over a pound, $2.59. Way better than the Whole Foods one, <laughs> price-wise. They both have that same consistency. I love the fresh ground peanut butter. My husband loves it, too. And then last thing is we did get some sparkling water. We like to drink sparkling water. I've tried some of the flavored ones, like the LaCroix. Um, I had a mango one that I didn't like at all. We, we do love just, like, plain sparkling water, and then we'll put our own flavorings into it or just drink it on ice. So I'm going to give a try another flavored one. This one's lemon lime. We'll see how it goes. It was on sale, Kroger brand, and the only ingredients were carbonated water and natural flavoring, so not too bad. If my second try of flavored sparkling water is gross too, then that's it. Two strikes, I guess, and we're out. We'll just go with the plain from here on out. And Kroger brand comes with a plain sparkling water, too. And it was on sale for a really good price. So there you have it. This, plus some household items, is what we got this week. The first recipe that I'm going to make, I think what I'm going to throw together for dinner tonight, is the brown rice salad with black-eyed peas, because I want to get to using those black-eyed peas that I cooked up last week. And it's almost 80 degrees here today, so a nice kind of cool room temperature salad will be an awesome dinner. We had salad for dinner last night, too. It was quite warm last night, but we are getting a cold snap. So today's high is like 80, and then tomorrow we're having a storm come through, and tomorrow it's going to be high of like 51, and then creeping up to 60. So it's going to be more like in the 50s and low 60s for a high, so which is normal, normal spring weather. This 80 degrees is 
not normal for this time of year, even in Memphis, Tennessee. But it's nice. I enjoy it. really love this weather. So hopefully you enjoyed seeing what I bought to make all those recipes from the grocery list from the last video. And I think, I think maybe my next video will be a what I eat in a day. And you will be seeing these ingredients in some of the recipes that we chose from the Thousand Vegan Recipes book. Okay, thanks for watching. If you like this type of information about our vegan life in Memphis, feel free to subscribe down below. Like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next video to show you how we eat. Thanks. Bye, y'all.